A 2014 Wall Street Journal study found that between 2008 and 2012, youth participation in baseball for the ages 6 through 18 declined by 7.2%, according to Huffington Post. Youth participation in the African American community declined even more. Here in Baton Rouge, youth baseball is made possible because of organizations such as the YMCA, Breck, and Cypress Mound, to name a few. The Little Leaguers of the Cypress Mound SU White Sox, not only named after SU, but their head coach is a former player of SU. Coach Roosevelt Smith teaches his team some of the same things Coach Cater taught him. Uh, yeah, I've cared a lot of what Coach has taught us. Uh, from my days there, we uh, learned to, to most of all work with each other, to work hard. Also, you got to work on your own to work on some things, uh, fundamentals, make sure you do the little things properly, attention to detail. Um, make sure we always are on point and notice the game situation. He decided to go into coaching because he felt there was no better way than spending his time and getting these boys in a perfect sport to keep them focused and disciplined. Well, we're teaching them fundamentals, try to teach them uh, values. Hopefully they'll take on to the next level. We're trying to uh, instill some things in them that they can hopefully take to the next level, when they, whether it be high school or beyond. Teach them camaraderie, uh, teamwork, uh, teach them how to work together to uh, get along with others. Hopefully they can carry on some of that into the uh, maybe the workforce. There are parents out there that want their children a part of a sport that teaches failure, discipline, success, and patience. Parent of a little leaguer explains why he chose to introduce baseball to his child instead of the more popular football and basketball. Sport that, unlike a lot of the others, uh, number one, it's not a sport that's really emphasized in certain communities. So I decided to try to do something a little bit different with him besides the focus on the regular sports, the football and the basketball and track that we usually do. And um, he actually displayed that he had a pretty decent arm at three years old. Taught him how to focus himself, um, how to be task oriented. Uh, there's been occasions where he's actually done homework, believe it or not, at recess at school because he knew he had a game that night. It teaches them to work with other kids. Uh, you're gonna encounter situations uh, as children and adults where you're gonna always have to be able to compromise, where you're gonna have to be able to think through situations, and baseball is a perfect sport for those types of things. It's clear that the players are learning from this sport and enjoying the game. Third baseman Khalid Lee said he learns a great deal from baseball. Um, it's just fun, it's a mind game. It's, it's a, it's always, uh, it's always a motion game. You can't just stop and do something while, while even if it, even if it's a, even if it's a timeout, you can't just stop. You have to stay focused because you never know when the ball might come to you. That, that it isn't just a game where you can just be mad all the time. You have to, you have to um lose your frustration. And I'm trying to do that now because I just messed up a little bit. But youth in baseball is important to the sport. The MLB are coming up with ways to get African American youth more interested in the sport. They've even developed the MLB Diversity Committee, which our very own Roger Kadar is a part of.